What's happening guys? Welcome back to the next episode of Twilight Princess. Last episode we just started off the game and we're figuring out how to get the cat a fish. We need a fishing rod quite badly. And it's kind of a conundrum and I can't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do at this point. What am I to do? Made that cradle when her first child was born. She's cherished it all these years. Just where could it have flowed off to I wonder? So it's part of that, finding the cradle and finding, well, finding the uh, fishing rod, one or the other. Let's go over there. We can go on top of the building, that's cool. Anything up here? No, nothing. Nothing of interest. Finding out what to do next is kind of difficult in itself. That is a very squeaky wind vane. I wonder what its use is. Oh, 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 what's that in the distance? It's a monkey. What? What on earth is that monkey doing? <laughs> Obviously, this hawk grass is going to be something to do with it. Oh, look, he's got the Triforce on his hand as a birthmark. Crazy that. Didn't notice that before. It was a bit of a cold start into the episode then. It was like, hi, let's just start off straight away. Ooh. So I want to see what that monkey's doing. Point the weaver out of the screen. I am, sir. I am. Fire! Oh, it's the, it's the crib. Okay, the hawk bring it back. Okay, hawks, not only for destruction. That Weaver mode is crazy loud. Okay, I've now got a crib. So I'm obviously going to be bringing it back to that lady. A crib, that's not really what I can call it. A basket. There we go. Okay, solved straight away. Oh, Wallace, that cradle. There we go, a cradle. Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me, there was something I was supposed to give to you. Do you think you could carry that cradle and come with me back to my house? Sure thing, ma'am. You're very preggers, though, so you're very, very slow moving. Preggers, what a chavvy thing to say. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself. This is one hell of a fast journey. So how are you doing today? Uh, yeah, the weather's lovely. Uh, I've probably got to do some chores later, you know, do my work. Um, save the world. Kind of what I'm born to do, you know. Oh, that's lovely. That's great. Let's just have a random conversation. Cool. What is with p pumpkins again? My thanks to you, Wallace. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. <laughs> All right, here you go. You got a fishing rod. Okay, a simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set it to B on the uh, the minus screen and press B to hold it. Lower the Wii Remote to cast it into the water and raise it to pull it in. You can fish with just the hook, but you can catch a wider variety of fish if you use bait. It's a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Well, thank you. We need to catch a fish. But the pumpkins are getting my attention. When was pumpkins an incredible staple of Legend of Zelda? I mean, I thought they were like random. Well, they got rupees in them, which is great. But I thought they were just randomly, like, everywhere in Skyloft. I didn't realise they were some kind of series trend. I guess I never analysed it that much. I never really looked at them and went, Ah, oh, pumpkins and Zelda. I mean, chickens and Zelda. I'm amazed there was no chickens in Skyloft or in Skyward Sword at all. Maybe. Oh, chicken, got you good. You don't want to attack chickens, though, because they will kill you. That is their role in life. Well, we can get more rupees, it'd be good to catch them up. Pick them up as much as possible. Anyway, let's go to the menu. Ooh, point at the item that you want to use and set it with B. Press B to use it. Okay. Everything is a Wii Remote sound, it seems. A is back, which is a bit counterintuitive, because I always think B is back. Okay, cat, we're going to get you a fish. Somehow, some way. Oh, that was the oddest throw ever. Let's go fish! Oh, 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 there we go. We're fishing. Okay, our bobber's in. Is a fish going to catch it? Oh, there is a fish in the bottom of the screen, if you look there. 
And will it take it? Ooh. The fishing was oddly missing in Skyward Sword as well, thinking about it. Come on, fish, just take it. Take it. You know you want it. Oops, I might have pulled it up too quick. I'm not a master fisherman. I didn't want to take it out. I want to lay it in the water. There we go. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. That's a fish. Come on, fish. You know you want it. Take a bite. Take a bite. How do I know it's hooked? Oh, there we go. Fish on. And I broke it. <laughs> Who'd have thought the fishing would be so difficult? So I've got to do gentle tugs or I've just got to pull it up? Let's just lay it down. Come on, fishy. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy. So when it's under the water and I guess when it's in any of the red zones. Okay. Come here, fishy, fishy. There we go. You caught a green gill. Ten inches. These small fries are everywhere. Press plus to check the fish you caught on the collection screen. Let this one go with A. We don't want to let it go, though. Did you get it, cat? No, no, no. We didn't get you a fish. We let it go. God damn it. <laughs> that cat is expectant, though. Okay, we're just going to lay the rod out there in the most silliest way possible. Take the bait. Okay, come on, fish, 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 fish. There we go, we got another one. Another 10 inches green gill. There we go, we released it for the cat this time. The cat caught on what was going on and it's taking the fish for a ride. I guess the cat didn't really catch on what was going on the first time. Probably needed me to catch the fish once. And the cat is trying to redeem itself as I thought. Cat flap and all. Crazy wee remote. Oh, oh, I don't want to cast, cast out here. Put you away. How do we put you away? Put away. There we go. Let's get going. So now that lady will probably want to talk to us. and Obviously this is how we earn our slingshot. Let's go, madame. What's going on? Your cat is very happy? Oh my, Ollis, you simply must hear this. Just take a look, my little kitty. Ollis came back. That was a really odd sentence. I was thinking, wait a second, why your cat's called Ollis? But it's just take a look, my little kitty. Ollis came back. That's not really. If it had an apostrophe, apostrophe it'd be like I'm at telling the little kitty to look, I came back. But it's not. Is your cat named after me? And he brought a fish back with him. He was worried about me being angry. Oh, just look, isn't he so cute? The way he laps up that milk. Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. Thank you. You've got milk in a bottle, but this bottle's half empty. Set it to be on the... Well, the cat's obviously having the other half. Set it to be on the minor screen and use it to replenish three hearts, which is all we have. When the bottle's empty, you can swing it to fill it with something else by pressing B. But that also means we've got our first empty bottle of the game, which is what we're after. Oh, don't you worry, you don't have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it, you know, put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out that the whole world was disposable. It's criminal. So what do you say, my dear? Is there anything you want today? I want a slingshot, obviously. Feel free to look around using the control stick. So we've got milk, we've got bee larvae that can be used as fishing bait, my dear. You can store it in an empty bottle if you've got one. And the slingshot is 30 rupees. And 50 pellets. If you want it, bring some money with you, alright, my dear? So we need to collect some rupees. And I imagine that is the next part of our task. Getting the slingshot that all my friendly kids were after. And showing it off to them, possibly. Okay, so we need to collect some rupees. So I remember there was rupees up on high. There was at least five rupees left. Oh, what's going on there? I can pick something up here. I can scoop. But of course my 
bottle is, well, it has stuff in it, so we're not going to scoop anything right now, but that's obviously probably getting us some bee larvae for fishing. Some bait for the hook, so to say, so we can catch bigger fish. Up we go. And I remember Skyward Sword now where you could flick to go up faster. How easy life was. Let's not fall down this time. Or let's fall down after getting our five rupees. Blue rupees, always a universal five. Ow. So there is a yellow rupee up on high. I can see that. Something up there as well. Can I get on top of this house somehow? No, maybe not. I... I... There must be a way up and round. Otherwise, we're just going to have to... Well, it'll probably be just fast to uh, farm some pumpkins, to be honest. Oh, there's a ladder over here. Does that give us any vantage point? Oh, let's bash into the tree first. Ah, here we go. Rupees, rupees, rupees. Lovely. And this gives us access to a couple of pumpkins. I'm not sure the importance of that, but yeah, a couple more rupees. Oh, a blue rupee, so that gives us enough rupees for our slingshot. Lovely. And there's some green rupees under the bridge here. I wonder how big the default wallet is, actually. Let's see if I can check this. Ah, it's, yep, wallet. Holds up to 300 rupees, so I was a bit odd with my exclamation in Skyward Sword that I could hold so many rupees. What a fish journal as well. What a heart piece monitor, whatever these are. Fish journal, we've caught two fish of 10 inches green gill. Okay, that's my collection screen. Let's go get our slingshot. Cat still happy. Welcome, my dear. Interested in something? Thank you. A slingshot is 30 rupees. I'll buy it. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play a bit? That's the intention. Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. Interesting. At least there's a reason for pumpkins in this game. You got the slingshot. Children love this item. You can hold up to 50 pellets. Set it to B on the, the minor screen. Aim with the Wii remote and press B to fire. Target with Z to aim perfectly. Gotta say, I hate all those little instructions like that. Swap set items. You can set up to three items to the directional pad to scroll through. Point at an item and press the directional pad to set it. To use an item, press directions set it, then use it with B. Use some items just by pressing the directional pad. Okay. So we will have you on the bottom. You on the left. Uh, oh, and it automatically switches around depending on what I want to use. So let's put the slingshot on there for now. And head out to the kids. If you notice that item wheel, considering what we've just been through with Skyward Sword, and the I this item wheel is indicating that there are so many more items to pick up. Of course there was two different item wheels with uh, heart medals and stuff like that, but they were mostly unusable items. Items that were just there in your pouch, for example your shield, and your sh my shield probably won't go into that wheel I don't think. Oh hello. Hey. Ah, just in time, Ollers. I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see. You've got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased, and it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. Okay. So there's something waiting for me in my house. Link's looking at him in a really odd fashion, I've got to say. Hey, kids, I've got a slingshot. Ah. Ollers has a slingshot. Whoa. Wow, well, you had enough money to buy it, Ollers? See, that's what that kid was doing. She was just drumming up business for her parents. Oh, it's a mini game. Okay. I'm gonna hit, hit some targets. Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. This just shows what little boys you both still are. Well, that middle one is tiny. These two will never let it go, Ollis. Well, just show them. First, use the Wii Remote to aim. Okay. And we can quick target using Z-targeting. Something we couldn't do in Skull Sword. 
That's amazing, Ollis. You know you can tilt left and right to look around while you use the slingshot? It said so in the slingshot manual. Did you call us obsessed with this thing? You're the one memorizing the manual. Okay. That's real explosive power on this slingshot. Okay, now we literally have to hit the target. So one, two, three. All the all the sounds from the Wii Remote itself here. Four. And the last one is there. Whoa, amazing, Ollis! If you lock on with Z, then you don't have to aim with the cursor at all. It's kind of what I guess with the scarecrows. Gee, you really are amazing, Ollis. By the way, Ollis, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Because he did. Oh yeah, that's right. What was that anyway? I command you to tell us. He's got a really deep voice, the little kid. That's how I imagine it. You still looking after a pona? Oh, you got it. I hope you like it. Aren't you off to work today? Aren't you off of work today, Ollis? You got a day off. Nice. This target's up. Uh, uh, spider! Uh, uh. <laughs> Why is there a random spider on the thing? That's no good. You dead? Good. You caused me my first damage. I will never forgive you. What was with the random spider? <laughs> Hate spiders. <laughs> okay, let's check out. Oh my god, that chest is massive. How the hell did he get it through the door? How the hell did he get it up the ladder? What's inside? You got the wooden sword. It was returned to you fully repaired. It's easy to use. Just swing the Wii remote. Now, of course, as I said before, it doesn't work in the same way as it would in Skyward Sword with the Wii controls. Basically, any direction, any waggle is an, an attack in this game. So it's a, a well, a, a lot lower precision-wise with the game. But, you know, fun all the same. They probably can be impressed with this. Oh my, isn't that a wooden sword, Ollis? Whoa, she's right. Hey, can I see it for a sec? Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. You want to beat up some monkeys? Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Sure thing. Yes! These kids are well excitable. Alright, first off, we want to see that move. That move. The slice. Um, You just swing it, right? we go. He's well excited. Yeah. Wow, a vertical slice was that, was it? I think I've seen you do a horizontal slice before, you know, by just swinging it. Alright, next. So we can do horizontal and just thingy ones, just I think from the direction you're moving. So if you're moving left or right, you'll do a uh, sideward swipe. I think that's how it works. Ooh, ooh I want to see that other move, Ollis. Yeah, you type with Z and then just tilt the thing forward and swing. This is a stab? Oh, please, the stab? Well, look at Link there with twisting his sword before he went and got an attack. Oh, well, it's just amazing. Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know that little twirly thing you do? I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? You just lightly shake the nunchuck side to side. What the hell is with that kid's eyes? He's worried about the guy with a stick. Now, will Link twist his sword around? Look at that. He's a legend. Look at him go. And there's a spin attack. Ooh, wow, thanks a lot. There's no way how the slingshot had more power behind it when hitting that thing. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait, you've got to show us the jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go here and leap through the air. The thing you do with A while Z targeting. And we blew up the scarecrow. Whoa! That's a lethal wooden sword, that one. Thanks, Ollis. So, uh, I I think I get it, kinda. Hmm, maybe not. So this means that any time one of those naughty monkeys shows up... Ah. What? Hello, monkey, with a rose in the hair. And your asshole bear. Come here, you! Chase sequence! When in need of chasing, take the horse. And get stuck. <laughs> Good driving, Sam. 
If you notice here, I've got my sword on the horse. This was the only one where you could do sword, horseback sword play. What's up, kid? Just run you down, it's fine. Tallow and Mallow went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. I can't keep up with those two. What's up, kid? They went that away. The rest is up to you, Alice. That kid's got his head on his shoulders, for being so small. Over the bridge, then. Off into a distant world, possibly. This looks like a passage to another land. Farron Woods, you say? Farron Woods, indeed. Remember Farron Woods from Skyward Sword? Think of this hundreds and thousands, maybe, of years in the future, and we're here again. Crazy stuff. Oh, an obvious fence to jump. Let's get on it. Let's not get on it. I can't believe I messed that one up. Come on, opponent. we got to do it this time. There we go. It's some kind of waterfall. There's a cave to the left. I wonder if I can climb up the waterfall, to be honest. Can the horse go in the water, I wonder? Nope. The opponent cannot swim. Or opponent refuses to swim, one or the other. I can't go up the waterfall. So down we go. If I don't crash into walls. I love this orienteering. I'm going to have to get used to this horse riding, I feel. Hello. Horses destroy grass and give us lovely, lovely rupees. So what was this? Check the sign. Check the sign, sir. Forest Temple Path is pitch dark ahead. Party's interest in going forward must first go this way, Koro. So this way it is. Hello, sir. Who are you? Whoa, an Ortonian. Hey, guy. You got bird on your shoulder? Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are a ton of caves and dank spots around here that get pretty dark even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy, take this. You got the lantern, it's a must for lighting dark areas. Set to be on the minus screen to use it, light it with B, and then press A while standing still to put it out. Once lit, you can set things on fire by pressing B again. If you run out of fuel, the light will go out, so be careful. See, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. They're probably more expensive than the oil, I don't know. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you've got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting a fire under that big pot. Sure thing. Oh, no. Wrong button. I'm thinking Skyward Sword here. Back over there. And we'll set this to left. Then move B to move it around. And bring it out. So we've got a lantern here. If we go near here, we can swoop to light the fire. That's right. See, it's on fire, guy. Here, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. Sure thing. I've got to put it out now. There we go. So I don't use my... Uh... This one has a pumpkin head. Ah, okay. A button might be better. I'm going to smash that pumpkin. Lots of areas to explore. Can we go up here? It looks like it looked like I could climb that then. And over here is another lantern spot. We've got two lanterns to lights. Let's do that. One. Two. And that does not do anything. And that does not do anything. Useful. The wooden sword can cut grass, no problem. So, guys, gonna have to call that an episode here. Thank you for watching. We got the wooden sword today, the slingshot, a bottle, a fishing rod, and a lantern. Lots and lots of itemry. Lots of lots of glorious itemry. So, next episode, we will continue for the chase for the monkey. Thank you, guys, again. See you around.